Alrighty guys, what is going on? I'm Toby Emu, bringing you the best coverage of WWE 13 leading up to the game on November 1st. We have an official release date. The only reason I kind of speculated away from uh, saying that was going to be the date was it was an Australian title titled that, and I didn't know if that was the U.S. date, but it is coming out November 1st, apparently, a little earlier than last year, which is good, a little later than previous years, and I wanted to talk about in this one online servers, so if you've been affected by the online servers in WWE 12, smash that like button, keep it going, guys, we gotta build up support leading up to WWE 13, we gotta grow the Tubby Nation to a huge size, and we do that by um, pretty much like whoring, so the reason we're like whoring is because of the online servers, you know, last year... THQ made a decision to ditch third-party servers, and what I mean by that is GameSpy. Now, I've had quite an experience with GameSpy servers myself. I was a huge Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter fan, and they were run by GameSpy. And I had numerous problems with trying to play all the time. And, you know, when THQ decided that we're going to go away, and this is Corey Ledesma's tweet, and I quote, New to hashtag WWE12. Did I just say WWE? <laughs> New to hashtag WWE12. New online servers. No more third party servers. Completely THQ owned and much more reliable. Now, the story went on to say Will these THQ servers make the leg go away? No, but the tweets below ensures that performance will be much better. And I quote on the same day from Corey Ledesma Does it mean leg? goes completely away, it means performance and reliability have been greatly improved. And to that, my rebuttal is, yes, yes, Corey, I agree with you. Six months later, after the game was released, there is some stability in the community creations um, where I'm able to play. It took a long time. It really did for it to finally start working. And the other day, I was able to go on and download 20 cars and 10 different arenas and I was happy. I was like, finally, it is working. I paid my money, and I wanted it to work. Now, I understand that THQ is on a budget. They don't have money like Activision, you know, to put in millions and hundreds of millions of dollars into a game. I understand that. I understand there's limits to what they can do versus other studios that have that constant flow of money like EA that can constantly do patches, do DLC after the game is out instead of just leading up to it because, you know, some of them doesn't have yearly release titles and they're major franchise players. But to me, the online servers in WWE 13 have to be impeccable. If they come out with servers that are filled with bugs, that are filled with uh, cannot connect to server errors, cannot do this, cannot do that, match can disconnects, that is going to be absolutely horrible for THQ, you know, a company that's already on the downslide, according to many analysts, said that THQ wouldn't even make it to 2013. I hope that's not true until at least we get WWE 13 because it is a hot commodity, um, and I am waiting static. I am waiting for it constantly. Now, for as far as the servers go, I don't know what THQ can do to better because they keep saying you know they were constantly working on it and we never got results until months after. And I hope us as a community can, you know, come together and, you know, foster some change and realize at the same time, though, it's not as easy as we all think it is. I've ran servers for web hosting, and at times it can be a bitch. But there's no reason THQ shouldn't solve these problems and get us a working game on day one. If I'm paying for a video game, I want it working, and I want it in full working order. Now, if Call of Duty or any other game was down for the first five months and you could hardly ever connect to play, there would be huge mass outrage and panic. There would be people spamming and, you know, bitching and complaining. And that's honestly what should happen. I think we should, you know, speak our voice out and demand that we get working servers. It has always been a huge problem. I mean, even in SVR 2011, I had numerous issues with trying to connect all the time. It would always, you know, say, cannot connect to server, cannot connect to server. That needs to get fixed. THQ, if you're listening, please get us some good online working servers. I'm on your side. I'm okay with glitches, I mean, but if I can't get online to get cause and to represent the best of my ability, the game, and what's going on in the current WWE, we're going to have a problem, sir. THQ, 
make it happen. Get those community servers. Get those online servers working. Guys, my name is Tubby Emu. Sound off in the comment section below what you think of the servers and what you expect from them in WW13. Make sure to pound that like button. My name is Tubby Emu. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Tubby out.